been a while, hasn't it? Okay. Well, not anymore. We've got uh, three more stories for you in this My Thoughts. The MMO RPG Bitcraft uh, pre-alpha test coming this fall. You can sign up on the game's website. It has the hallmarks of survival games such as building villages, farms, or hunting. All with friends in a procedurally generated world. The pre-alpha will be on PC first, of course. Uh, I haven't really heard much about this bitcraft but it sounds interesting you know might check it out after it releases depends whether or not I can get it but uh yeah if you uh, want to try it out yourself you can sign up for its pre-alpha test on its website um it sounds interesting even if it's just to add on to the uh, survival game genre, but you know, at least it's trying a different aspect with it being an MMO RPG. Ah, next story. Wow, World of Warcraft surrenders surrenders to the woke mob again. Several M game paintings have been change to cut back on the game's more mature themes. This is obviously due to a California lawsuit against Activism Blizzard for an alleged culture of harassment and discrimination. Uh, Blizzard has made other changes to World of Warcraft and I expect more to come. <sighs> is WoW even taken seriously anymore? I mean, I can't take it seriously now that I've learned about this. And, okay, first of all, that whole protest thing they did months and months back, or probably last year by now, <coughs> that was for Activision. That originally started because of Activision Blizzard's disgusting display when it came to their love of China. It's where that all started. The Hong Kong protester. And now it was to it grew to to activism because it does te treat its employees like absolute garbage. But then again, so do more most triple A game companies. Uh there was multiple things like employee rage, wages, you know, layoffs, massive layoffs, and all that crap. And leave it to the woke mob to, and woke culture and council culture in gener general to hijack a legitimately concerning case of what Activision Blizzard actually does and what the people were actually angry about and turn it into a this woman said this and this transgender person said that Activision Blizzard is evil and we're going to sue them even though it's just these people word against theirs <sighs> but that's how cancel culture works in a way uh... but speaking of their of China China is calling for less effeminate men in games. China has involved in a ongoing battle against uh, game addiction, monetization, other game industry practices they view as harmful. If you don't know about this, they're basically f forcing people to register on this list with their real names instead of gamer tags. And, uh, trying to control how much they spend actually online and how much money they spend on microtransactions which on the one hand anybody that's taking a stand against the uh, B 
the use of microtransactions in the game industry today gets a thumbs up from me. On the other hand, it is China, and there's got to be ulterior motives for this. Uh, their next task, by the anyway, back to the story. Their next task seems to be targeting games that include gay love. I guess China views this as a wrong set of values. They want tendencies such as money worship and effeminacy removed <coughs> from games. I mean. It doesn't really bother me, to be honest. I can understand how it might bother some that so many games choose to make men overly effeminate, but it doesn't really bother me, because I don't play those games. Ah, <sighs> sort of. But anyways... I'm looking to see I'm just I'm just waiting for the ball to drop and this go from a moral case to a oh China was just using it as another means to the control of their population because you know that's what they do. Anyways, those are the three stories I got for you. Really got controversial towards the end sort of and a little bit with the wow thing. I can't wait to see what Activision Blizzard does next, you know, instead of fixing WoW and making it more the more beloved video game it used to be, we're going to make even more pointless changes. Because a workplace basically sexual harassment and racial discrimination lawsuit is going to go away just because you removed for some mature content. Oh my god. I'm going to end up on a freaking three hour long rant if I don't end this video right now. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want. And don't forget to give yourselves a big thumbs up. Bye!